comes. Hello, 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 my dear Muslims, Zanz Africa. You all tune into TOMZ, right? You're in SBC One, we're live and TV of One. Absolutely, but Fetty Kamaga will see you, and this is the beautiful Bundu. Now, we are ready to take you on yet another exciting journey of your science and technology. Yeah, boy, yes. I'm saying, yes, again, I'm going to get in my Daniel and Bani, while I'm in Africa. And it's really hard to meet the demands for electricity. But tell you what, the amazing thing is this, never fit. What's that, like, actually? Okay, so I'm going to talk in the most unexpected places. Now, energy is so You can actually convert that into actual electricity. Say what? Yes! Impella. As a TV, I'm trying to fit. So, I'm trying to get a lot of people who had a big idea with what's okay in the most unexpected and everyday things. So, let's go. Let's go. Discover how these young people found electricity in everyday things. Tell us about how the science behind it works and see how inventions like these can make a difference. Tell us about what a crystal is in scientific terms. Check out how scientists have used crazy ways to generate OKC. See how we can use these awesome technologies in the future. And remember to jot down the facts. We will be asking some tough questions in the quiz. This is the very time where we get to interact with you guys via our social media pages. And I'm trying to get to the how do you save electricity? On Facebook, I make sure that I save electricity by ensuring that the keys are switched off whenever I leave for school. Very nice. On Facebook as well. And I make sure that all the unnecessary lights are switched off in all the unoccupied rooms. Very nice, my favorite to keep those comments coming in on Facebook and on Twitter, facebook.com forward slash T-O-N-Z on Twitter, we're at Tom's underscore S-A-V-Z underscore one. With that being said, my favorite to something to call it to tell one up, one up, I'll see you Alrighty, but first, it's TMZ Sifigil. It's Coco Se Game Says Figil. And I'm trying to get Silana Ebona Comprehensive High School. And Tinaga, so Kuluma Neng, and it's Sally Pantis Nets against Balufo. If now, like, okay, if only TMZ is a school in Sako, all you have to do is simply slide in our DMs on Facebook and on Twitter. Alternatively, you can email us, toms at sabc.co.za. With that being said, but first, it's Silino Fitz, Lam Fitz, why come along? Brian. Brian, and Tom Jutla is going in Sako to Mengan. I'm going to Menji. Alright, now so I'm trying to give a fit. We're talking about electricity in everyday things. Now I'm funny, I'm okay, so seven to Silan. Okay, so seven to uh like seven to like money, pay TV, study, or chat you for me, or pay up so good before me in la la I won't book I need for me and things like that. So what charge does an electron have? It is a negative charge. A negative charge indeed. Alright, we know what daily activities could help generate Ugis. Obviously, to minimize and so on. So let's watch this short clip, take a look. We are able to use electricity because of the flow of electric charge. Electric charge has to flow in a wire in order to move from one place to the next. When it encounters an obstacle in a wire, like a light bulb, it experiences resistance. Now let resistance Lena makes it possible for the light bulb to glow and provide light. Now this electric charge can come from many sources like batteries, power stations and even human movement. In the mid-18th century, two scientists named Koch Linnaeus and Franz Apenis studies how materials can generate or gassy through temperature change. When you are 2010, Bafetu or engineer designed a system that can harness body heat from Abantu at a train station. In 2013, bus fleets in more than 12 Swedish cities were able to run on biogas, which was made from alcohol that was thrown away. And Onjinela have built a dance floor that can generate orgasm from the impact of people in it. Oh, now how cool is that? Too cool. But many years ago, a few years ago, four girls in Nigeria, Benza Umbani, Basenza Umkamo. What? Umkamo. Umkamo. Right. Yo, like many guys, which there was such a cool use for that, hey? But now I know, we need them for no guys, if it's got to in a lap of my I'm up on my ideas and now that could actually fuel the world. Let us know on social media, on Facebook and on Twitter, facebook.com forward slash TRMZ on Twitter at Tom's underscore SABC underscore one. We will see you on the flip side of this. Tom's. Tom's. 
fucking back to see your UFC. Uh, all right. It's back. <laughs> now my favorite talk generator, okay, so we often associated with those big power plants. Got to get into leads in there, but who can actually generate, okay, so from using the sense of Michelin Mala. Indeed, Futi Ikalele youngsters like him Zansi decided to take their idea to the next level. Back at their own invention. So, must book it in, guys. Kanjalo Bafetu, you are still tuned into ETOMZ. Lena Gaba Fetu, say me sang a teenager's on a mission, and today I'm on a mission, Bafetu. I was also like a bandy about electricity in everyday things. I'm trying to get Bafetu, so I'm trying to get Bafetu out too. I'm trying to bring a pella, when I go by a shell, a project table, meaning yes, got a shell, ingan, got an amshanje, so we're so fun to get Bandi in Gayo. Ikam, I'll see ya, and this is what we call a mission. Summit to us all. Yo, how's it going, man? Good and you? Good, good. Uh, see ya. Uh, to shield. Nice to meet you. I see you looking prim and proper in your school uniform. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to TMZ. Uh, it's good to be here. So please tell me uh, about your love and passion for inventing stuff. Well, it, when I was a child, I used to love like inventing things, playing around with electronics, mm -hmm. that sort of things. Yeah. So doing this experiment and investigation was really good for myself and my partner inside. Absolutely. And rumor has it that you guys have some great stuff going on, like you have some really, really cool innovation that you guys had done. Please tell me a little bit more about that. Um, well, our investigation was this thing called piezoelectricity. Mm -hmm. And basically what it is, is this generator. And when you step or tap on it, it produces an electric voltage. Mm, so basically it's generating electricity just from walking. Yeah, you could say that. Oh, yeah. I'm excited, man. Shall we go in? Let's go in. Cool stuff. This is my friend and partner, Devesh. Hello. All right, how's it going, man? I'm Kenya. See ya. I'm Devesh. Nice to meet you, man, and welcome to TRMZ. Thank you. So please tell me about your love uh, for inventing things. Um, well, since I was a child, I like to um, play with stuff, and I like opening new things just to find out how they work, and when I was told to do this project, I was quite happy. Yeah, so please tell me a little bit more about this project. Okay, so this is generating um, electricity from walking right. and our experiment, the aim was to um, see if weight plays an effect in it. And um, it did in the end because the more weight that was exerted onto it, the more power was generated. For real? Yeah. Alright, cool. So how, how did you guys actually come up with all of this? Well, I actually thought about this idea. I was watching this TV show mm -hmm. and I saw these people use it in roads okay. during a marathon and was able to run, I think, around a train station for about a day or so. Mm -hmm. So then when we were told to do this project, I had that in my mind, just thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. And then I immediately came up with this idea. So we researched it together and then we well, it. Absolutely incredible. So what exactly does it do? Like, can you charge your phone maybe? Like, where does the electricity actually go? We can really connect it to anything as long as we have all the factors that are there. So we were thinking of connecting it to a shoe, which you can um, charge a battery with. So as you walk, you can generate electricity. All right, cool. So is it certain type of shoes maybe? Is it just running shoes? Can you do them on flip-flops? Is it specific shoes? Um, well, all the shoe has to be is have a fairly thick sole okay. so that this structure can fit inside it. Mm -hmm. And then just it has to be comfortable. Okay. So it must feel like it's not there. You yeah. must walk easily. Mm -hmm. And also needs to look visually attractive. I see, so absolutely. Yeah. So I think you guys um, are actually curbing the electricity issues that we have right in, in, in South Africa yeah. by, by, doing, by yeah. doing this. Okay, cool. So please take me through it. Um, well, see if you can demonstrate. Um, well, first, basically, these are piezoelectric discs, yeah. okay. which are using speakers, output devices, mics, that sort of thing. All right. But in our experiment, we use it as input devices to generate electricity. Okay. So as you see, if I tap on here, a voltage is produced. Mm. And as it puts more weight, the more, the more, the yeah, more voltage yeah, you get. All right, cool. When a crystal is squeezed, umbani flows through it. Now this is called the piezoelectric effect. But okay, Amar, crystals aren't only the attractive stones we see in gift shops. I'm a scientist to find a crystal as any solid which atoms or molecules are arranged in very orderly and repeats the same basic building block. A bar of iron, for example, is also a crystal because it contains the iron molecule repeated again and again in its structure in the same pattern. And that's why even the mineral content in bones can be considered crystals. Alright, cool. So please take me through it. Like, what exactly is this and where do you guys actually have to start to actually, you know, uh, get this? 
Okay, these are piezo discs. Piezo discs. And then these are some diodes. Okay. And then with some connect for some conductive wire, we just um, connected all of it, and then we made a circuit, mm. so we can follow that. All right. So the first thing you guys did, obviously, you guys had the saw. Yes. And then you had to implement all of this in here. Yeah. Well, so first we put it together, and we made sure everything was connected yeah. properly, and it worked. Okay. And then in for terms of like protection and stuff, because when we first tested it, the it seemed to break easily. Mm. So we decided to put it on this foam sole from an old shoe, which made it easily protected and also it looked a lot better. And I think if you put this on top, then it will be more protection for it. Oh, I see. So there's no su not so much impact. And with these wires, like what type of wires are these? They're just normal um, conductive wires that you get. Yeah. All right, cool. And then we also use diodes here to ensure that the flow of current was directly to the voltmeter or and whatever no current was lost along the way or came back. All right, cool. And we all know that the road to success is never easy. So I want to know, like, were there any glitches or challenges that you guys faced along the way? Um, well, firstly, once we built it, mm -hmm. I think our first challenge was it produces very low current, mm -hmm. whereas it produces high voltage. Okay. So although our experiment now is showing voltage, we were not able to overcome the current difficulty that we experienced. All right. And also, um, the, these wires just kept coming out as we soldered it, it came out. But then with, we solved it with getting the shoe and getting this on top of it. I see. And then, yeah. All right, cool. And then take me through this little machine here. What does this exactly do? So well, this that's is basically a, a multimeter. Okay. Because it can test voltage on this side and current on this side. All right. And also direct current and alternating current. So all we did was connect our experiment to this. And when we were testing it, we could record the voltage produced that was displayed on the screen. In the structure of crystals, the atoms are arranged in such a way that it creates a totally neural charge. Tazuguti, there is no positive or negative charge. Now, when a force acts on the crystal, like the force of a shoe on the ground, the structure of that crystal is deformed, pushing some atoms closer and some further apart. Now, this upsets the balance of the positive and negative charges and causes a final electrical charge to appear. Now, eventually, the positive charge will be on one end of the structure and the negative charge on the other end, creating a mini battery. Okay, so guys, please tell me about the costs that you guys had to sort of like, you know, pay out. So this is quite cost effective, but obviously our, it will, the, the prices will vary based on the sizes of these discs. The bigger it gets, the more expensive it gets. But yeah, but these were um, actually quite cost effective at about four rand each. Is it? Oh, okay, for cool. each for each of these discs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And right. the wires itself also cost effective, and the sole of the shoe was that of an old one. Yeah, mm -hmm. I see. We kind cool of reused stuff. it. Yeah, yeah. And this machine? This machine we also we had. had home. Oh, you, you also so, had it. Yeah. Also okay, so how do you make this accessible to everyone? Um, well, what we'd do, we'd like design a shoe where you could implement this within the sole, inside right. it right here. Okay. And then also you'd put this above, so when you do step on it, it's not any feeling of uncomfort mm. or that sort of thing. And then you could remove this portion altogether okay. and just connect like a charger, one of the portable chargers, to it. And then as you walk, it's going to get charged. All right, cool. Yeah. So then when I have to wash the shoe, what happens then? Um, we will design the shoe so it's like protected all the electricity components inside. Mm -hmm. So it can get wet or it can wash, get washed, but okay. everything inside would be protected. Because it would be sur surrounded by the, the sole, oh, so we would implement it inside. Inside, okay, yeah. cool. Yo, now I want to get in on that, hey? Okay, so I'm going to just zip on our village as an innovator to simply bring it back. Fast, fast. Fast, quick. Okay. And so I'm getting out of here, get ideas there So please tell us about your ideas, because social media is here to get in. So we are go, go, go. Fast, quick. Quick, quick. Sounds. Sounds. Welcome back to Fits and Suffolk, I'm Ngapa Mbili, it's here, Uzi, and I'm glad you're actually seasoning today's episode with electric potential. Yes, seasoning, wow. So I'm doing a umbani because I'm going to pay a to each and every day, and we actually don't know about Lula Kanjani, we're going to umbani, yes? And our daily activities can actually help. I'm glad you're going to pay a Ngapa Mbili, I'm going to pay a Ngapa Mbili, and I'm going to pay a Ngapa Mbili, and I'm going to show us how this is done. Have a look.
So I want to know guys, why this project? Why do you see the need to generate electricity? I feel like in South Africa there are some poverty stricken areas and some people don't have electricity. So if this is implemented in like rural areas, people as they walk, they can generate electricity for powering their houses. Absolutely. And also when we were investigating this, mm -hmm. it was during the time where there was load shedding, like almost mm -hmm. every second day. Yes. So using this, we could generate electricity and get rid of the, and eliminate load shedding. Mm -hmm. And this is very renewable, yes. unlike coal and wood and stuff and it's very easy to use. And also with solar energy and stuff, you need specifically sun or specifically water for hydroelectricity. Yes. But with this, it's like anything, because there's like yes. people walking in cities and stuff every day. I want to know how far do you want to take this? Like, what are some of your goals that you guys have? We would really like to take it like on the roads, okay. so that electricity can be produced on the roads by mm -hmm. the cars driving onto it. Yeah, that would be really great. Yeah. And of course, the shoe idea. Because, yeah. I mean, if you're wearing two shoes that's charging your phone as you walk, yeah. you could walk an entire mall and charge maybe wow. a lot of Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And you guys are in grade? Grade 10. Yeah. Only grade 10? Oh, this is grade 9 last Oh, year. grade 9. Wow, this is absolutely incredible. All the best to you guys. Eh? Thank you Thank so you. much. Oh, and there you have it, ladies and gents. Thank you so much for tuning into ETLMZ. But for this funega bandi, about actually using this desi instrument to mitla na malanga to generate. Okay, this funega bandi ke pays your electricity. But for this mohamba, okay, so young hand sitting to the far go guess, okay, so guess. Ah, there you have it, Professor. Then I guess it's easy. Mission accomplished from your boy Sia. It's goodbye, and we pause at the Becker Studio. All right, my friends, it's time to put your knowledge to the test with our Tom's Quiz Challenge. I hope that you guys are ready to play along on our Facebook and Twitter pages. Tell us which team you are rooting for. Is it the green team or the blue team? If there was a funny team, Z's or Skolin Sako, all you have to do is simply slide in our DMs. No matter what, shag your email on tomsabc.co.za. So, let's play the Tom's Quiz Challenge. And you know what time it is, Bafetu? It is time for the TOMZ quiz. You know how it goes, Bafetu. I'm trying to touch down so where to see a born a comprehensive school. So I'm learners where to see Do they know anything about electricity? Now, Lapamaka, if you want to play with us, we are live and active on our social media pages. So if you want to know the answers, Sabasiwa, drop out during the ad break. You can hit us up on our social media pages on Facebook. We are TOMZ and on Twitter, it's Tom's underscore SABC underscore one. So you know how it goes. Our learners are divided into two groups. We've got Team A and and we've got Team B. So what needs to happen now is Team A needs to choose three people who are going to represent them, Buffett, because I'm a question of Super Bowl's owner, how are you, Buffett? Okay, cool, my friends. So we've got Team A and Team B to play the TOMZ challenge. So guys, these are the rules, ne? Mamelian guta hambaganja na rules. We've got a buzzer in front of you, ne? Zonbuza ma question I three. The fastest team to press the buzzer gets to answer the question. So if you get the question right, it's ten points, guys, ne? If you get the question wrong, you got an opportunity to ask the audience, but that's five points. Which one of these materials is not a crystal? Is it A, an iron bar? Is it B, ice? Is it C, rocks? D, nylon. Which one is it? Okay, team B was the fastest, guys. Need to answer any one. D. Oh, D. 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 Give it up for team B. And our second question is, what charge does an electron have? Is it A, positive? Is it B, negative? Is it C, neutral? Or is it D, all of the above? Which one is it? Press the buzzer. Oh, Team B. Team B is on fire, guys. Guys, need to answer anyone? B. But the answer is B. As well, no good answer is right or wrong. And the answer is B. Give it up for Team B. Okay, cool. So, Mafetsu, for the first round, Team B takes it home. Team A, you guys can go sit down. Thank you so much. Make some noise for Team A. Okay, so guys, see level two your TOMZ quiz. So what's gonna happen here, guys? You guys are no more a team. Ane, Sini one one, man. What's gonna happen now? Zumbu is a question. Let's see, busy in knockout challenge. I'll ask you a question. Whoever gets the question right gets to be our winner for this challenge. And the last question is, which one of these activities can be used to generate electricity? Is it A, dancing? Is it B, walking? Is it C, cycling? Or is it D, all of the above? The prize is yours. Oh, how oh, guys, how? Oh. Okay, so what's your answer? It's D. Are you sure? Yes. And the answer is D, make some noise! Okay, Buffett, we've come to the last stage. Lena C. in the Tom Speed Roundmaster. So, Sisam, what's gonna happen here? You've got a pyramid, Lena. So, you have to move all of these pieces to another splendor. 
Funege now my rules. Unga bigi engani, unga pants going cool. You can't put the big one on top of a small one, ane? Okay, so what's gonna happen, Siswami? This challenge, ane, about that little wee answer. So far, I'm going to TOMZ log, ane? So, come back and cut If you are quick enough to put all of these pieces to another splendor, then it's a bigger number one. If somebody beats you, also to the number one, ane? And at the end, whoever wins this, but fair to, or yens and share, it's cut out by Sifas, so co-hosta, Nazi, and the food is gonna walk away with awesome prices. You got two minutes. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, Kotra, you can't put the thing. No, no, no. Yes, yes. You've got one minute left. One minute left. One minute left. Two, one, your time is up. Okay, well done to you, my friends. So this is what we call the TOMZ challenge. Until next time, City, bye bye. Bye bye. We have come to learn so much Gombani over the years. So, what's still to come in the future? Piezo electricity will be used to power home appliances and security sensors. The pressure of cars on the road will power street lamps. Electricity generated by soccer players in a stadium will power neighboring communities. Yay! Piezo electricity will also be harvested from biological matter like viruses. And Ogesi made from the movement of helicopter wings will be used to turn them again. Woo! The future of electricity is looking rather bright! Yo, like this attitude that you've adopted. Now, <laughs> you too can also be part of the squad on Facebook and on Twitter, facebook.com forward slash TMZ on Twitter. We are at Tom's underscore SAVC underscore Uno. And for more information, do type down there www.sabceducation.co.za forward slash TOMZ for more information, guys. Absolutely, my favorite, to at IMC underscore G on the Twitter streets. Ah, Fetter underscore Ubuntu on Twitter. And that's how we wrap things up, my favorite, to thank you so much for watching it TOMZ. So Tina Tina says goodbye. Here's what's coming up next time on TOMZ. See how history and hospitality come together in this awesome place. Sifunde Gabanzi about the different aspects that make a tourist attraction run smoothly. Beni Yazi Uguti, there are many ways in which the work of a historian is similar to that of a scientist. Look back to see how the hospitality industry has evolved. And pay attention, you need to know the answer to the question in our quiz. Oh gosh, I'm going to TMZ. Same time, same place. Call Alana SABC One, where life and TV are one.